your life now. No, it happens. Believe me, when it comes to streaming, they can hear now. I am sure. So okay, what? Was it yesterday, Cami? I I helped you with uh with the problem. Anyway, I'll yes. continue. All right. So we have Vince Corazza over to the OG Carlos Oliveira. Then we have Nick, and then we have OG Brad Vickers, Evan Saba, joining us today on such a special date. So hi everybody. How are you guys Hello. doing? How are you Very feeling good. today? We good. are. Good. How's it we, going, are buddy? we are celebrating today because in the game events on September 28th is when Jill Valentine escaped from Raccoon City. So she she was surviving from the whole outbreak that was going on. And you know, in the game events, she later meets Carlos and when things happen in game, but the, the, the date where everything starts is September 28th. So yeah, that's why it's such a special date and we celebrate it. So it is but a pleasure and an honor to have you here, Vince. It means a lot. Thank you for joining us. So if you want to, to tell these people something, they are all ears for you. Um, thanks for coming out. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for being fans of the game, especially the OG. Although no, no offense to, to Nick there. Uh, <laughs> the new ones are awesome, but, uh, yeah, thanks for all the love for all these years. We, uh, it was, uh, it was a blast many, many years ago. Try, I'm, you know, it, my memory sometimes deceives me of like how it all went down, but yeah, we had a, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing to see that this thing is still happening and people still love it. And, uh, and all the iterations of it, the series, the multiple movies, the multiple video games, it's amazing. It blows my mind. That's one of the questions I had for you. So on September 22nd... I was reading, I was reading your mind, Kemi. I was reading your mind, man. I you were, you were, absolutely. So on September 22nd, this is a fun fact here. September 22nd, that is six days ago, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis turned... 24th year old. So the game came out on September 22nd, 1999. Six days ago, what? it's been 24 years since the game came out. Yes. Can you believe it's been that long? Because I wow. cannot. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I cannot. I, I can't believe that. that. That means that I'm older than 24. You are? <laughs> I suppose you are. <laughs> yeah. But that's how we feel, Vince, is we all feel 24. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We had that's this conversation thing. earlier. We feel 24. We're not sure that our bodies sometimes agree with us, but that's how we feel. And that's <laughs> just, that's where we're going to leave it. <laughs> As Stephen says, we are, what's it, bro? Kids at heart? Is that what you say? What's that? I guess so, yeah. Kids at heart, kids in mind. Yeah. We're just... I mean, yeah. I'm still playing games. I'm still playing video games. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we feel young, and that's what matters, I think. I don't know. I'm just trying to young justify <laughs> years going by. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, a great, it's a great date because it is an actual anniversary. So when it comes to these games, and of course, there are plenty of dates that we celebrate because of the game events and such. But I would say that September 28th is the most, like, iconic one probably in my opinion um so yeah it, it's quite great and then regarding carlos Oliveira, he's such a great character i love him his personality we are going to be talking about that in a minute but um we are still waiting for him to come back to the game events because like in the storyline um we know that he, he survived Raccoon city of course he escaped along with jill but we haven't seen him ever since this game so um, we are looking forward to having him back in action sometime. That would be really cool. So um, back in uh, 2019, I think it was, RE3 Remake came out. Um, we, we, we've, we've seen Carlos again and Jill and all of the remade characters. But, you know, it was great. But we don't know where he is now, again, if we think of the game events. So it's really, you know, we, we're really... I don't know, it'd be cool to, to, to have his direction or something. Um, one of the questions I would I was thinking about asking you, Vince, to begin with is, if you remember, of course, because it's been a long time ago now, but um, do you remember about the audition for Carlos? How do you get the role, the cast members you've interacted with? Can you tell us about that real quick? Um, I mean- Do you remember like who the casting director was, Vince? I actually do not. I have no oh, idea. Oh, yeah, me neither. That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, you know, it's crazy. I don't remember if I, I don't recall. Is it Kim going, Gordon? It, you know, that it wouldn't surprise me if it was Kim or Karen Gura or, you know, someone like that. 
I mean, Kim, it would to me, it would probably most likely be Kim. But I, I feel like I auditioned for this in agency. I don't think I actually. Oh, you went. You auditioned in agency. Or you didn't go into that that uh, room. I think there was like a. It was like a. I don't know. It felt like a. It was like oh, one room no. on, on then on the studios were on the left when you came in, and it yeah, was no, in some. It was in some you building. That's actually now coming back to me. It's down. Like, <laughs> you know, now that you say that, I go, fuck, that just, that just literally slammed right into my mind. Uh, yeah. The Cause metal. like the, the main, the main office was a, str- it was like a, it was like a, like a, the office felt like it was out of a set and it was like a small, yeah. like this room you walked in and then the studios were off to the left and it yeah, was yeah, just yeah, this yeah. one window, one window studio. And I think we went into the big, it was like a slightly big room, right? Cause it wasn't a small room. It was a kind of a, a medium to big room that we auditioned in do you remember that at all I, i've got weird memories i don't know why i remember things like that yeah i remember i remember where i remember where we recorded which was down like it was um yeah. it was a side street that that we went between like adelaide and richmond or some somewhere down that area like uh like maybe was it queen. wasn't it on queen it was that or building was right, right it's a building on queen yeah. i think it's at 550 i think 550 oh, what? Yeah, man, I've lived in I've lived in the states for twenty almost twenty over twenty years now, so I forget Toronto all those the studios up in Toronto. But yeah, um, I think I think you're right. Five Fifty Queen sounds sounds about right, and it was a big like it felt like an office space, like a giant. It was, it was a huge room, right? Yeah, massive office space, like you know. And then you and then we walked into the studios, like like you, there was like a gathering area outside, and I, yeah. I feel like was that also where we did the auditions? No. But it's, no. it's where no the auditions were in a small room I think on on Young Street like up in the building like not a small room but I mean like a medium room and then the one you're thinking about the studio we 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 actually did the recordings in yeah. where the studios at, down on Queen Street you had to go down a ramp you know there was like a ramp on the right always and then you go off to the right and we had to go through a tunnel of studios left and right dark dark hallway. Dark carpeting. Too much. Too many details. No, no, I'm, I'm listening. I'm telling you. I remember <laughs> things. I remember strange things. There were servers, early day servers. You know, so big computers yeah. like flashing yeah. in I things mean, on I the right and left. And then I you go into our that. studio. It was a big, big studio and it had couches in it and it had a huge board and a big window. Like we we did the uh, the the actual voice work in a big studio for like normally a band would be in there. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember recording with. Um, oh gosh. Uh, What's her name that played Jill? Uh, Catherine Disher. Yeah, thank you, Catherine. That's right. And did you and meet we, Catherine? Yeah, we worked together for like oh god, we were we were in that studio for over almost a week together. Oh, it was we're going like, to us. That. that was wait like, a cool. second. That's totally different than my experience altogether. I didn't know you worked together with her. Yeah, yeah, that's... really. And and you know, like as you know, that's most cool. of most animation and video game stuff you do on your own. Yeah. Um, although, although video games, not always. Video games sometimes, like you know, uh, I've done quite a few where I'm in the same room with people down in Los Angeles. Oh, that's cool. A few times, but um, even with the new, even with the new mocap stuff, like when they put the gear on your head and stuff, I've actually been in the room with other people, which was wild. To well, that me. makes more sense. Yeah, but yeah, like voice we work back in the day. By, yeah, we were we were separated by like. Yeah. Um, you know those those movable partition walls and stuff. So wild. That, yeah, so so I've done that too, which is wild to me too, because you, I, in my mind I go, you're going to get overlap, but I guess not because of the way that you know the way they've controlled the room now. Um, but no, Jill, um, Catherine and I were in the studio together for like a week. Oh, how not. cool! Uh, yeah, how yeah. because back that game, I, you know, there was there was so many there was so much interaction between our two characters. And, and yeah. Stuff. Yeah, and then I think after I don't even know. It might not have been a week. I think I recorded for a week. I think her and I did like three or four days together, and then I had another couple of days where it was just all the damage and all the fighting and all that stuff on my own. Uh, and I think she did her stuff all on her own as well. And I, I think she also had she had already been recording for probably a few days before I arrived, or a week before I arrived. She had so much more to do in the game. Oh, cool. Um, that's, yeah, yeah. I, I found that pretty wild too. They, they were like, it was the two of us together working together, which actually made it much more, you know, it's more interactive. When you can work with someone else you, you, as an actor, you're just going to get I'm gonna, better. I'm gonna, gonna ad- get- I'm gonna address a scene, uh, just one of the scenes I can think of right now when it comes to interacting with Jill and Carlos. 
Do you happen to remember something about Carlos injecting a vaccine on Jill? Because at some point of the storyline, she gets infected and then Carlos goes back and creates a vaccine in a laboratory and then she, he saves her. Do you remember something about that? No, I, okay. don't remember. I have like, I mean, you know, like you said, 24 years ago. Yeah, I know, I know. I've done thousands, just, thousands just, of workers and video absolutely. games. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, to ask you about that too. But yeah, but the reason why I'm asking is because it's, it is because of Carlos that she made it, because there, there, there comes this, a moment where she gets infected by a monster. And then, um, well, she's sick and, you know, she's just dying. And then it's Carlos, the one who, who you know, exposes himself out in the city, down to the laboratory, uh, creates a vaccination, and then he, he comes back and, and saves her. So, yeah. Uh, kind of kind of moment. Like yeah. I feel, like yeah, I, yeah. I feel like I remember, I mean, I feel like she saved me many times. So. <laughs> um... No, actually, Carlos is the one who saves her constantly. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think Jill saves Carlos because actually, well, at the very end of the game, they escaped in a helicopter, and it's Carlos the one who pilots helicopter. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What What can you tell us about that scene? Because it's iconic again. It's the helicopter. Remember that. That was the final thing that we recorded. I remember that scene because they would they would have like the video screen and you could watch. So they would play sort of like what's going on, so we could see visually, kind of get a sense of where you know a, a feel for the location, the, so that we could you know adapt our voices to like if we're in a large space and we're 20 feet away from each other, then we're going to be yelling, you know. Whereas if we're standing right next to each other, it's going to be more intimate. Um, you know, in terms of the way we're speaking and, and stuff. So I, I do remember that because that was, you know, the last kind of, that's, that was the end of it all. Um, yeah, getting in the helicopter and flying away. Amazing. Um, sorry, I'm what do you... Two seconds. I'm just, my, I got a fan on in my room. It's kind of like... Go, go, go. Well, oh, sorry, what do you guys mean Vince's audio is kind of... I'm back. Yeah. Okay, that's quick. Great. Yeah, because they are saying that his audio is broken. Skipping. Weird. Yeah. Not really? Okay. He it sounds kind of clear to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're on, Discord, but we're on Discord, though, so that's the only thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. maybe let me real quick try and add, like, a, another source here so you can... Yeah, you guys are all, all you know, Kemi, uh, you guys all sound fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But if you want to, um... like he's in a helicopter. They're saying at least it's <laughs> at least it's appropriate. Yeah, it is. Oh, that, I added that effect. Uh, you know, that was me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Speaking of helicopters, uh, Evan, did you go yeah. on the ride? Did you? Do it? Yeah, yeah. I flew around Toronto, man. I flew around. Uh, the uh, the kids got me a uh, gift uh, for my yeah. birthday. I know. And that was that. Together, but it, I mean, I don't know if you know. If, I, I I didn't know when you were planning on doing it, but well, you, you came up to the city, and I was like, well, that was when you were supposed to tell me you were coming up to the city, I, oh, and you man. didn't. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's my bad. No, I, I mean, I, I thought you were gonna reach out to me to sort of like oh, go. So I didn't. I didn't want to step on toes and put any pressure on you to make it's it okay, happen. Man. Sorry, is that better, you guys? Can you, can we were, so the, the helicopter ride. I was planning on taking Vince with me when he was in Toronto, but he didn't. Uh, he uh, he didn't reach out to me, and I didn't reach out to him because we both thought, okay, that's fair, that's, that's fair. But you know what? Sense. It means next time, next time, maybe we have to like just do a helicopter ride anyway. You'd you'd love it, man. It's I don't know. Oh, that would be really cool. I I actually want. I really wanted. I was interested in doing that with you, man. I thought that would be. Awesome. I thought you chickened out. I thought you chickened out oh. to be honest. Give me a sec. Yeah. My wife, I'm going, I don't know if I should bank some time for Evan and I to do this thing together. I go, but I don't want to, I don't want to, if he's, if he's decided he wants to do it on his own, I didn't want to make you feel pressure. So I just, oh kinda... man. Well, look, you know what? I think you and I have a helicopter ride in the future, is what I say. It it's so funny because like. I kept thinking you were going to text me or send me a message and go, hey, man, do you want to do this? And then I never heard from you. And so I thought, no, nah, I'm not going to make him feel like he's obligated to take me up. You know what I mean? So I just left and let it go. But That's uh, okay, man. Ski, it's I'll okay. Get ski over to Toronto. Might take a while. <laughs> but, uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to jet ski over to Toronto. All right. <laughs> where, where are you? Where are you, Dick? Oh, wait a minute. Cam, have you started? Yeah. <laughs> I've been live for 10 minutes now. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't have the I didn't have that screen pl um, playing. I didn't realize you had begun. Um, oh, Nick, yeah. Well, did I you did. Think, I went. Did you now. think we were still <laughs> just in like practice mode? Uh, no, I know. I knew we were live. I didn't oh, know okay, Ken okay. was uh, started playing because I didn't have that. Oh, screen so, oh on. yeah, I didn't notice that too. He's playing the game. No, <laughs> sorry, no, Kevin. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Just now, two seconds ago. Okay, okay. I, I, okay. I know what you mean. No, no, it's fine. Um, so, well, on that note, um, you guys keep the questions coming. Um, I'll be rather focused on game because I'll try and speed okay. run this. Um, and that's why I have some help here with Nick yeah, and Evan. So. I'm just going to make a call up because Ron Diggity just said okay. Evan, was, Evan was terrified. What does that mean? <laughs> the helicopter ride. <laughs> Were you really? Yeah, I was, uh, Are you afraid of I was uh, scared. heights? I mean, or, you can um... see it on my face. It's in the video. I posted it on YouTube. Oh, I gotta yeah. check it out, man. That's awesome. You gotta. Hey, it listen, I, I've got a question for you, Vince, about working with Catherine Disher, because that's, I mean, that's new information to me, and that's super cool. Um, did Sorry, she? Did he... oh, okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. No. Ask your question, and then we'll watch the jail's introduction because she's going to. Yeah. to oh, oh so about... is it up already? Oh, that we're yeah. at the scene. Yeah. No, I am in the game, and she's going to talk now. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what? Okay. I can hold on to the question. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, Vince, this is why <laughs> September 28th is important to us. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in the Kun City. A city controlled by a rogue. That's sick. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be... Only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. And that is why it's so important to us. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Sorry, Silver. Evan. Very, very dramatic. I got, I got chills. I got chills. <laughs> well, what's your question, Evan? Do you remember? Uh, you know what? It, it can, I could probably tie it in with actually the part of the game that will, it'll come up. Because I, I, I'll, I'll just write it down so I won't forget it. Okay. This is this is speed playing. This is speed this is running, yeah. We try and beat it as fast as we can. Unfortunately, this is something really sad, but in speed running um, the game, we are to skip Evan's scenes. <laughs> so, but I'm not. Oh, I'm not, oh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> huh. I'm not gonna do <laughs> I am going to let the you speak, Evan, but that's huh. how the speed running can do. No, I, I mean, am, I'm only here here to watch myself, Kemi. <laughs> so if I'm not here, I'm not here. Um, <laughs> So, Somebody just asked me a question if I was given the chance to, to, to do the, redo the script, would I do, ever do it again? I don't think I'd want to redo the script. I don't think I'd want to redo anything. I mean, it's iconic. It's, you know, I, I love the game, uh, yeah. but would I, would I love to play the role again? Would I love to come back as Carlos? That would be, that would be awesome. That would be fantastic, man. So cool. Um, Vince, are you, uh, have you been a fan of these games? Are you much of a gamer yourself? No, that's a sad. No, I get that question a million times. I've done tons of games. No, I'm just, I, I always let the hands down. I, I'm not a video game player. Um, He's got very uh, short, stubby thumbs. That's Can't right. play. That's right. That's right. My, my, my gun, <laughs> that, that's just my thumb that you're looking at right now. <laughs> um, uh, I, uh, I, uh, if you if you pull out an old old school like. Uh, Ms. Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, or uh, oh, solid. Uh, I'm like I'm old school video games and pinball machines and stuff. That's my jam. All right. But, yeah. But uh, so Galaga and uh, Centipede. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Give me some Galaga. Give me some Ms. Pac-Man, or give me a pool table, or a or a okay. foosball, foosball table. That was that's my thing, man. I love. Like you're you, so you're a gamer of some of other. You're you game other stuff then. 
I mean, I mean, not on a regular basis, no. Like, you know, if, I, if I'm suddenly walking through an airport and there's, I see a, a Ms. Pac-Man, Galaga, you know, tabletop, you know, I'm going to probably end up sitting down for a few minutes. But... Fair uh, enough. I love games of all kinds myself. Um, it's, uh... Welsh girl asks, uh, what other voiceover work have you done, if if any? All right, this is going really fast, I know, but we are going to have Evan now. Get away! Oh, Get on, everybody! Oh, hold on! Yes, Brad. Do I help you, Evan? I'll help you. Like, look at that! Look at that stance! Look at how uh, sh sh Brad knows how to shoot still. Ah, there's look at that. Seven. Yeah. I didn't even need Jill's help here, really, but okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe I did though. Brad, oh. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? <laughs> I didn't know how they, they wanted me to do those lines. Us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape. Oh, jeez. Bro! I feel like the Lowe's lines were so, so strangely written and the performances they were trying to get out of me were, was it, was it your experience, Vince, that you had two Japanese producers there who couldn't speak, speak a stitch of English. And then you had the casting director who could somewhat speak Japanese, somewhat translate. And then you would have to spend like like several minutes getting these directions from the, from the, the Japanese guys and then translated through the Kim Hurd or whoever. It was it was a riot because I never really understood exactly a hundred percent what performance they wanted to get get from me. But was it that like was it, uh, did you do the same thing? Um, yeah, I mean, I I feel like I you know just yeah. I, I, I remember that too, where it was, where it was like you, you'd hear them talking and they'd be speaking in Japanese, and then you'd, they'd go, and whoever, I can't remember who it was that directed us, but. Um, I know, I can't remember. I'm, I'm just saying Kim Hurden, but, but. Oh, by the way, Evan just died. I just skipped it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Why? You Son, skipped my cutscene? Yeah, oh, no. the thing is. <laughs> okay, all when, I do is scream. When you're you speedrunning it, that actual animation is not in game for some reason, because they, they removed it. No. It's not on me. Um, yeah, I, I totally remember that, Evan. I, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, where you were, you know, you were always kind of, you were doing your best to interpret what you were being told, but at the same time, you're kind of going, I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. Well, see, yeah. Nowadays, with with the new games, they really try to work with, um, with localization directors, especially oh. with, with companies like, like Capcom that are, um, uh, based in Japan, and most all the developers and all the creators are Japanese. Oh, they have really I skipped the cutscene of Carlos. <laughs> well, that was Carlos okay. on the radio. That's Actually, cool, I'm gonna man. do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Sorry. Oh, no, that's all right, man. There's plenty of. Yeah, uh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I mean, it took me like it, it'll take me like three minutes. Why don't you go know, back and play someone else's cutscene too, man? <laughs> the nah, thing is, dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm used to skipping things. Um, no, the thing is, when with your cutscene when Nemesis kills Brad, the, the actual animation is not in this specific game because it is like suppressed in order to skip as much as you can. Everyone hates Brad. I get it. Hey, are we, are we gonna it. watch? Are we gonna watch Brad's cutscene? Uh, <laughs> it's not no, in it. because it's not it's in not game. there. <laughs> but I, I, I could YouTube it if you want me to. No, man. Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna cry about this. Come on. It's all about Vince. We're here for Vince. Okay. Right. Uh, anyways, uh, somebody, um, I they, somebody asked but they what work. Other, I think somebody asked so, me the chat what other stuff I've done. Uh, September twenty eighth, daylight. Um, the monsters to, have overtaken Oh my god, I've done a ton of video games, and all of a sudden I'm blanking. Somehow. <laughs> I was the Zexian. <laughs> <Renee's. and>, uh, <laughs> isn't that crazy when your mind just goes like out to lunch? Uh, you forget half of what you've done. Um, Uh, so Nick, so what are you saying by uh, localization, meaning that they just have somebody, like, they have people who are more uh, culturally in tune with North America and sort of exactly. arrange the writing and... Exactly. They do exactly what their name implies. They mm. they, they localize uh, the script, the performance, and everything. And, um, and they, they do that, I think they, they realized in the early 2000s how important that was because right. when it's just a it's just a language barrier and cultural barrier as well 
where it's like some of the concepts and ideas they're trying to put forth with these these older games they didn't quite um, hit as hard uh, as as some of the newer games just because and that's why they have like such like a, a charm <laughs> some of the like the dialogue and the performances is because they didn't quite nail that um, that bridge between the Japanese concepts and the English delivery and stuff and so I think yeah. it's, it's a really really interesting challenge and um, I love being a part of that anyways yeah no that's that's I mean it's fascinating because I uh, I wasn't joking that the 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 sort of like figuring out what was being told to you and what you were being asked for because even the casting director herself yeah. who didn't speak full japanese was also trying to sort of get an idea mm -hmm. like Figure i kind of knew want. myself from like watching a lot of japanese film what i feel like you know when they said when they said uh damage damage when they were that's what they're saying to me damage they wanted damage sounds and i was like damage oh damage sounds oh i have to like go uh, uh, that kind of stuff and it took a while to sort of like get those kind of translations and figuring out what they exactly wanted with uh, a lot of people because it was only one person trying to do the translation and yeah. sometimes those are often, the sounds we hear the umbrella soldiers and the cutscene right when they are like fighting against the zombies that's what we hear like the, the yeah soldiers fighting against them yeah but it just i mean in terms of just even the dialogue written the translation wasn't really done accurately or uh, intensively like i imagine a localization department would do and it, adds, it does add to the camp because these old games, um, I'd say the first like, first three especially, just had these like funny, funny lines that were just like, yeah, it's not how Westerners speak, and these games are primarily made for the Western audience, and so it's exactly. a really just interesting bridge. Um, we have another cool question from chat. Yeah, um, Vince, what were your experiences like recording for this compared to Sailor Moon? A tuxedo mask. Yes. Uh, um, you know, uh, definitely different. I mean, video games are always different because you do the, you, you know, it's, it's everything specifically heightened. Um, uh, also, things like when I did Assassin's Creed, uh, where we did the motion capture, um, so, you know, you're in like a headgear and you're, you've got multiple cameras looking at you, you know, and then they're using your face. Um, uh, the other thing that was crazy different about uh, Sailor Moon is we used this system called Rhythm Band. So it was like this giant band that's that across the, the wall. It was like projecting. And so we were reading it as it was going. And so we, we knocked out, we'd sometimes knock out like 10 episodes a day for Sailor Moon. So half the time I had no idea even what, just, what, what was going on in, in the show. You know, we'd be knocking scenes out so fast. Um, but, we are. Uh, what's about to happen? Sorry. Yeah, we are about to hear the first time Carlos tries and reach out for help. So he's going to come out through that radio, and this is these are your first lines in game, Vince. All right. Here we okay. go. All right. Amazing. She's she's reaching out for help because he's one of the Umbrella soldiers, and he, his background is so interesting. I would say because while he was a part of the bad guys, he didn't know he was like what the Umbrella Laboratory Corporation was all about, you exactly. know. Mainly. And that's why he he he's like a he's a victim in a way because he's like he believed that Umbrella was fighting for the good when in reality the whole mess was put by them. So it's really, the role is really interesting. When he finds out that his leader, Nikolai, another character, is actually a two-faced, who's actually working, you know, it's, it's not like in charge of rescuing people, but like he's actually like a, the supervisor, they call him, in the sense of he's in charge of the operation of destroying the, the city and the, the virus spread and all of it. Well, anyways, um, yeah. that's why Carlos Blackman is so, so interesting. So Vince, you're 
your uh let's uh i want to know did they ask you or tell you uh to put on any kind of uh accent or you, um, for yeah. your part yeah yeah because yeah carlos is um i believe he was mexican i think i i, I, I mean it's so long ago i forget a lot of details and everything but i believe um, the way it feels like it's like he's half colombian half american yeah, that was, yeah, thank you, thank you, Colombian. That's right. Okay, right. yeah, he he does sound yeah. Colombian, like yeah. Actual. So they wanted, but they wanted it very slight because they didn't want it to be, you know, he's the, the, um, I think I think the idea was he was born there, but had been living, you know, had moved away a lot, like at a young age and stuff. So they just wanted it very, very slight. Um, yeah, yeah. But I was just wondering if that was part of the instructions. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that was part of the direction. Yeah. Okay, we're about to see Carlos now. What's that? Calm down, Are lady. You? I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill. Did you just say you belong to gestures. Umbrella's army? <laughs> They're my favorite. Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. How did he find me? He, he legit believes that they were rescuing the civilians when in reality, they were not. <laughs> it was... It was on the whole blow up, Ken? What was that? You're gonna blow him up? Yeah, yeah, they were trying to, well, the nemesis, it felt. They were trying to get rid of the Stars members to, so they could, you know, get away with it. Carlos seems, Carlos seems like to me like the classic character of somebody who uh, ends up following their morals versus their orders. Because, you know, like, you know, military and all that stuff, you, you, you know, just following orders. He's like that one guy that just doesn't follow orders because he follows his heart <laughs> am i wrong no i think so. i think i think that was part of it right i mean i remember that like that them sort of giving us that direction that you know once that, that he thinks he's there to do a job and then when he realizes that stuff is not what it seems he's like to hell with that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be a part of this yeah like i just have the feeling like his mom, he, you know, he thinks his mom would be disappointed with him. Yeah, yeah, he's an honorable guy. He's an honorable yeah. guy. Yeah. Or he just had a crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. Well, yeah. I think, I think he, I think he thought Jill had a crush on him. You know, all the big problems that he asked I, I don't know. I think I think he started. I think Carlos started having a crush on Jill the minute she slapped him. I don't know. Just <laughs> sorry. Since you brought it up, Vince, can you can you say that again? Uh, what is it? I know. The you you want to yeah. ask me out? All the ladies love my sexy accent. It drives them crazy. Uh, it was all the foxy ladies love my accent. All yeah, the yeah. foxy ladies love my accent. <laughs> all the ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. Yes. That's the line. So good. How oh, lovely. <laughs> to think, again, this game turned 24 years six days ago. And it is not only to still alive, but it's also a competitive game because there's actually a tournament going on nowadays where it's about seeing who runs it faster. And it's a competition, and there's actually a one thousand dollar pole there for the prize. So it's, it's actually actual competition going on. You know what? How much is the prize? How much is the prize? Thousand dollars. Oh shit, man! Yeah. What's the? Uh, do you know what the fastest time recorded is? Yes, the um, <clears throat> the world record is actually held by an Argentinian streamer. Um, I'm from Argentina, so I'm proud. Um, and it's 40 yeah. minutes and 35 seconds. Wow, 14 yeah, minutes crazy. To, yes. to beat the whole game. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And we yes. are about to see another cutscene. This is one of Carlos' teammates here, so... You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, 
I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready! Uh, uh, fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. I'm no Carlos. Right now. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? <laughs> the hand on the hip. But Sergeant, yes, we need can. her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Mm, fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Cool. Oh, I love this game, dude. <laughs> I love that? how long I love how long it takes him to think. He's like, yeah. <laughs> This is the skin I'm, I'm using, by the way. It's not actually. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, so like, wait, did he give her Jill a, a costume piece? Yeah, he, he gives her like an accessory. I'm not sure what you call like hol holster, I think it is. It's basically oh, okay. like a gear that gives gives you more space in your inventory. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I forgot yeah, this is this is a mod. Yeah, it's a mod. It's a skin I'm using. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Which I haven't really I haven't really dived into the mods myself yet. Yeah. Another cool thing about this game is that it was the birth of Mercenaries mode. It was. Oh. I love Mercenaries game here. Yeah. The Mercenaries mode is basically a bonus game. You obtain once you finish the main campaign, the main title, which basically consists in... It's a mini game. Basically, you play with either Carlos, Nikolai, or Mikhail, and you are to rescue oh some God. people in city, and then... um. You need to make it from one spot to the city to another before the timer runs out. And uh, yeah, that's how you win the minigame. So you, you're playing like cool. a reward. Yeah, it's fun. I, I, totally. feel, I feel like a terrible guest today because I'm watching so much. I've never seen the game. I've never seen it ever played. So when like, you I'm told just... me that, when you told me that <laughs> you've never seen this game, I'm like, wow. Do you know how the game, do you know how the game ends, Vince? I, I, I know nothing. Like I've told you many times. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I voiced Crazy. it, so I, I know. I know that like there's you know the ultimate end and as far as if you beat the game, right? But I don't know, I've never seen it. So I'm like so enamored like watching, I'm like this is this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, to be true, to be honest, I didn't see the end of the game until I actually played it on stream with everybody. Like I, I, I myself, like I tell everybody that I died so so early on in the game, I just stopped playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, screw unfortunately, this, I died already? Come on! Like, there's much more to this game, like, if he's just trying to speed run it and, like, play as fast as he can, but yeah. this is actually a really, like, really tense and awesome experience if you were to take your time and, and beat it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a really good game, really good experience, and, and the whole, every encounter with Nemesis is awesome. Yeah, like, that's the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this going, this is wild to see it, and to think that somebody's beaten it in under 15 minutes, when I remember... You know, taking a week to record and all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much that I remember thinking, wow, there's so many layers to this game. And back then, 24 years ago, 
you know, that was mind-boggling to me, especially as I've said before. I'm a gamer, but the games that I played grew up on are like Ghosts and Goblins, Miss Pac-Man, you know, stuff like that. So, so I remember seeing this going, what is this? What is happening? Wow, that was masterful. Yeah. By the way, you guys, if, if you go to the mission mark, Nick, Vince, or Evan in chat, you can have access to their socials. You can give them a hello. Uh, hey, Nick, are you going to become a uh, speedrunner? <laughs> are you going to no, be. No, I, I talked to Kemi about this. Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the challenge and people people doing it and learning all the fastest routes, but I, I like to enjoy games for different reasons. Yeah. Um, okay. And speedrunning is just not one of them. <laughs> yeah. Like I, got, I often say, like I'm there for the uh, the artistic experience. I'm I there. I like I look at texture mapping on the on the actual wireframes and stuff. Like it takes me forever to get through a game usually because I'm I'm there just appreciating all the artwork. But yeah, speedrunning. If I was a speedrun, Vince, you too. If you ever take up speedrunning, this is the game, bro. <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of good ones that you can you can speedrun. For sure. I, I would probably have to just take up gaming first before I, <laughs> before, before I ever even imagine doing a speedrun. No, you should skip all the middle steps. Just start and speedrun. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, I think you you definitely have to be somewhat athletically, like your mental state has to be a little bit athletic, like a sports, like a, someone who's in sports. Because this, the repetition of, of having to speedrun and learn a course by route and and everything and know where everything is it's yeah. you need a certain kind of mentality behind that yeah like i'm, I'm watching this just going i have no, like the fact that cammy the you, you know you have it all you're you're running running it seems it seems to make sense because i've never seen the game play before <laughs> but i know how de i know how deep this game was that's what's yeah mind yeah to go you can do this in 15 minutes like that's crazy it is, it is a mean, really good game though the, the whole community we um, old school fans, I would say, that we love these titles. We play this so many times that we know. Not only do we know, do we know all of your lines by heart, but we know like the whole puzzles, the whole routes, the whole every every everything where it is, um, the healing items, the weapons, uh, everything. Yeah, we, we just learned it by heart. <laughs> yeah, like I can tell you're doing you're doing stuff, but you're basically that would probably take hours to figure out, right? Like playing it for the first time. Yeah. Nikolai? No! Oh, Carlos. Oh, it's Carlos. You're right, right. It's don't make me do this, Murphy. I don't want to shoot you. Kill me. I finished. Not human. Wait, we... We don't have to do this. Please hurry. Yeah, you do. Before lose conscious. Before too late. Kill me. Yeah. You think this Murphy. is what breaks Carlos? Yeah. Why? Killing his friend. No. Yeah. Carlos! Sounds good. <laughs> Has he ever killed anyone before that? Zombies. No, actually, no. Technically, yeah. no. Yeah, to that point, I feel like I remember recording stuff where we, you know, engaged the stuff, but yeah, killing your own friend. Damn, you're quick with that. Holy crap. Holy cow. I know. I'm watching that going, what? Like, when it comes I can't type on a computer faster than that. <laughs> Cammy, are you using keyboard and mouse? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, ah, right. cheater. <laughs> when it comes to speedrunning this, there's what we call RNG, which stands for Random Number Generator, which basically, uh, as the name says, is random. And it changes the puzzle's outcomes and solutions. So, you, you, in one puzzle, you could have up to four different solutions, and that's something that you are to realize about while you are gaming it. So that's why the, the competition goes on so strong because you you, may, you might have like a good way out, clean way out or not, depending on what your numbers are. 
So it's really interesting. Damn it, man, you're the boss. Like, Jesus, you're telling, you're explaining stuff while you're in the middle of combat, like fighting. It's like, I don't know. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I try, I try. I, I take it you've done this before. <laughs> a few times. <laughs> So Kem Kemi times. will sit Kemi will sit there for maybe a eight hour stream sometimes Vince only playing this game doing this over and over again. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kem is what we call a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> That's a short way to put it. Yeah. Remember, you remember no, Kemi, really I came in on your stream like, one time when never, you were up for almost twelve hours because you were practicing never do this. for a tournament. Yeah. What have we yeah. got here? I remember that. I appreciate all the followers, guys. I am just trying to go as fast as I can. Yeah, you, get pe you got people on the chat like admiring your your work. You know, you know, <laughs> yeah. We know each other. We we know with most of them because when it comes to the wrestling world community, we are in everybody chat. So you know, next right. streamer, even a streamer, then you have the there are lots of streamers out there. Wow! I can't wait all to right. watch you fight Nemesis though. <laughs> yeah, it will be fun. This is something not gaming because when it comes to Twitch, uh, Vince, yeah. Twitch is up for pretty much anything. You could create art, drawing, cooking streams. I don't know you can do anything. Is there? Would you consider streaming something like probably you know, you're cooking something or like, drawing something? Is that something you would do? Uh, I don't know, man. It's not. not... You know, again, I, I, you never, you never say never. That's the beauty of being an artist, and, and, and you know, and, and especially with the way things are changing in this biz. Um, but it's not, it's not what draws me to the work. So, you know, I love. Okay. People love also sign autographs as well on live transmissions. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know. I've, I've, I've heard a lot about that, and a lot of people, have, mm -hmm. you know. Inquired about doing more of that stuff. I, I probably need to look into it more. Um, maybe someday. Uh, for me, for me, my I'm, I'm old school. My passion is always just taking the writing and taking the script and bringing it to life. I just, you know, that's that's always been my that's the thing that just uh, cranks my gears. You know, uh, it, it's funny. Like I know some actors say things like they don't watch the work that they do because they don't really care. I'm not one of those. I, I like to see the work I've done because I want to learn. I go, oh, I could have done that better. And um, but but for me, it's even watching things that I've been in or, or you know the work that I've done. It's more about just wanting to get better and wanting to do more. I, you know that's that's always been my passion. I love being in it and doing it in the moment. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't rule out doing something like live streaming and stuff like that. I, it's just probably cool uh, to see you. I, I, you know, if you ever so you know where to find me, just help me out with this, and I'll and I'll be there. Um, so there's another right. cutscene here. Right on. All right, let's watch. I'll check over there. A short one, but. Hey Vince, you should come on my stream. We'll play some Galaga together. Some uh, some, some asteroids and uh, Pac-Man. Right, uh, that's, right that's, that's my that's my version of speed. Oh man, have you seen Pac-Man Champions though? We should make you play Pac-Man Champions too. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that that sounds like fun. It's a short <laughs> one, but it's, anyway. it's wild. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> what do you think, Vince? Did he die? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's Resident Evil, they don't die. <laughs> right. Stars. <Yeah>. Love it. <laughs> Nice. That nice. scared me so much. So OG, for those of you who don't know, OG Nemesis is one of my favorite POWs of the of the series. Oh, I didn't know that. Man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just think I think his design is so cool. Especially when he right. made 24, 24 years ago. I remember I remember when we being in the studio and seeing like the the little cutscenes they would play and just going, wow. Like, yeah. Now, I mean, now you, 
the now you think they fucking stone life black is more realistic. You know, mind blowing but back then this was this was unreal. This was this was you know. Well he's he what I liked about him is that he's the OG stalker. Like almost in, <laughs> almost yeah. in almost in all of video games, he's the OG. I don't think the main villain chased you throughout the entire game in any other um, game at the time. I don't think. Yeah, yeah so there was all that. I'd have to like, I'd have to think back, but because there could, there could be something where there was a stalker in mechanic in something, but like, it's hard, you're hard pressed to find it. I think so. Yes, more, yeah. more call, more call us. I've had a lot of people say that that's what also made the game feel very terrifying, right? Yes, you never that you were constantly it. chased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just here's more Carlos. Okay. Carlos, I'm sorry about Murphy, but there was nothing you could have done. Yeah, you're right, Jill. I'll operate the cable car. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. Come on. Let's go. Okay, here's another cutscene. It's looking good. <laughs> Mikhail! This is optional, but if you interact with Carlos, you would have such an alarm tone here. Hey, what's going on in the back? Hey, what's going on in the back? Hey, what's going on in the back? It's optional, but, you know, we would tell you with this a lot. Like, hey, Carlos! Hey, what's going on in the back? <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Mikhail! Get out of the cable car now! Mihail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Me. There's a cutscene where he dies, but the game doesn't have it because I'm still running, but. No! He's fighting Nemesis and he. He basically sacrifices himself. He pulls a grenade off, and the, right. the, the cable car wagon blows off the train. And... Now this speedrunning option, was this built into the game originally? It's useless! It is, the, it is, yeah, it, it is the actual game. It's the Taiwanese version, and the Taiwanese version, I don't know why, but the, all of the cutscenes and animations are compressed, so the game would be lighter, and people would use it to speedrun because of this, because you skip most of the cutscenes here. Yeah. This was, this was actually, this was an option built into the game 24 years ago when they first released it. That you can do this. You mean speedrunning in general? Yeah, like, was this something that they. Is this, did they adapt the game later? Is this a newer version of it? Or is this the original game you're playing? No, it's the, that, it's the original game. It's the, the original game. This is the PC version because the game what is available for lots of consoles PlayStation, Nintendo, GameCube, and so on. But this is a PC version. And right. here's more Carlos. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Carlos! Whew. Well, we both managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough. But we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you. You give us some grenades. Kim, okay, I don't know if you're going to be done by them. I can probably stay for another, like, um, about 20, 25 minutes. Sure, yeah. That, that's cool, man. So if the chat is asking questions or something, um, you know, my mind is here now. <laughs> Somebody said I sleep with that music on. The yeah. Music from, the, the music from Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, we love we love. That might um, be my. That might be my favorite. Uh, Dave Rumpel. Yeah. 
people have um people have LPs of the music, Vince. There's like they, they print records. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful stuff. I, I mean, love it's it. Very, yeah, it's very you know, like I said, you, when you think back twenty four years ago, it, it, it was so filmic. It was so uh, you know, the the layers of it, the music, the concept, the storyline. You know, and like like I was saying, the 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 idea of nemesis that he's always he just never make it. I'm watching it right now, and I'm going, you know, I have that little sense of like, oh, he got to pop out. You know what I mean? So, I think what the, the thing was for me was I, I it, was it because nemesis. Uh, appeared anywhere in the game and it just randomly was that the unique feature because I, uh, and then going back to what no. Nick was saying about a stalker no, uh, wasn't random. Mr. X a stalker in two but only showed up at key specific times and Nemesis is different because he comes in randomly well actually yeah, yeah kind of sort of a correction on, on my note um, yes if you played the B campaign in RE2 X would show up, and I think that, I'm not sure if that was random, but I hadn't played the B campaign at the time, um, mm. and Nemesis in this game, he's not completely random. Uh, he does Stars. come at different points in the game, like right here, this is scripted yeah, all this the one, time. Yeah, he always comes here, yeah. It's just that at the end of the time, I... I had never played a game where the main villain did chase you throughout the entire game, and plus... Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess, I don't know, for me, he's always been my favorite because of that, because that mechanic is, for me, the first time I played through, it was random, and I was, I never felt safe. Right, yeah, no, the, the whole, the whole vibe was, I mean, I never felt safe after Brad got killed, because, and then I think that was the whole point of, of Brad getting killed in the game, was that it was to instill this absolute fear in the gamer, right? So the person playing the game goes, oh my god, they just killed off one of the stars members, and was killed off so violently and had no hope. So I got to run. And uh, yeah, I just think it was a, it was a really choice to kill him, kill him off. But in the new games, he doesn't get killed off. They chose a different way to do it. Um, you've seen, have you seen both now? Uh, Nick, have you seen both uh, the the ways that Brad dies in the the OG and the modern? Yes. Yes. And. Do, which one do you prefer? Because that's a question I always get. <laughs> oh, I think um, I think it's just more iconic in the in the original. <laughs> right. Just because yeah. that sets the tone, like you said. It's like, oh wow, this is what we're up against. Oh my goodness, I remember yeah. that feeling even 24 years ago. Yeah. In about five minutes, I'm gonna start playing with Carlos uh, Vince. All right. What did you say in five minutes? You're gonna what? In about five minutes, I'll be playing with Carlos. It's wild, just it's wild to see watching you do this so quickly because I go, I can't even imagine you play the game for the first time. How much repetition you have to go to just to learn all these little individual pieces, right? And yeah, the, the amount of failure you would go through to go, oh man, I almost had that, or I gotta go back and do this, and this, and this. That's wild. Or you can play it this fast. You know? We go. We go. Yeah, you can only play this fast with vast amounts of repetition. Yeah. It's game hours. I mean, it really yeah, should be more than a thousand dollar prize, to be honest. Here's where Carlos saves Jill for the first time. The second time, actually, if you think of the cable car. All right. Oh. Man, I had to like run around like a crazy person in this stage. No kidding, I'm I know I'm watching it and you're like <laughs> he killed me. Okay, let's try one more time. The good thing I said because I had a bad feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a bad feeling. That's why I saved the progress. Okay, okay you guys. Than I would have. I saved. I saved. This is something. If you're speed running, that will kill the run. We'll call the run, and you will need to start the game from the scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah I figured. 
figured yeah. that's not. Figure you don't get just to, to start over. Yeah, yeah. From, from wherever you were. The whole point of speed running is right is to get is to beat the game one one full pass. Exactly. Without saving. Yeah. this. Yeah, they don't even they don't they don't even save when they're speed running really. Yeah, we don't. I'm sorry, Jill. Please wake up. Nice. Okay. Jill. October. 3rd. In the actual games, he's got a, a second. He goes, Jill. Jill. With at the top of her lungs. But that was cut out in, on this game. Does he really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he has that's no colors good one. anyway. Yeah. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! You have. Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Now we play as Carlo. This is the techno that we're selling you that we are going to create the vaccine to save Jill. Yeah, you never, you never knew you got to play as your character, did you, Vince? No, I, I did. No, they told me that. They oh yeah. That. Okay, when, that you'd be a playable character. Yeah, oh, that that, cool. that, uh, that it would be an option. Uh, again, I never played the game. I didn't know anything about it. So I was like. Okay, that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they showed me pictures of like, or like early sketches of Nemesis. They showed me like some early, uh, uh, I guess, video footage of how Nemesis would look and running after the characters and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. I got to see early alpha footage and shit, but. Um, yeah, I remember all, I remember that stuff too. Like, the yeah. Was sense of what you know the environment was what it was exactly. yeah because they, they wanted to put you yeah they wanted to get you mentally sort of like in the place where you need to be yeah. for the part yeah it's very uh this is very stranger things uh like early early stranger things feel that <laughs> popped out <laughs> there also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow we're about 70% done with the game by now. Oh, wow. 65, 70, yeah. So, Vince, Vince, what kind of stuff do you work on mostly nowadays? Uh, currently, uh, well, we're about to come back starting Monday. Uh, currently, I do all the The late show people there. Goli, you're still alive? Oh, hold on one second. So, what happened? What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! So there he finds yeah. out that, yeah. Sorry, uh, about your nowadays projects, Vince. Oh, I just was saying, um, I, I do all the promos for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. So, um, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do now. Uh, I'm not the intro voice, uh, but I do all the advertising for the show. I've been I, had, that. I had no idea, man. And yeah, you're yeah. finally back to work, right? Yeah, we start. We we're back Monday. Um, but uh, I've been doing that. I mean, I've, I've been part of the show before it even actually started airing. I started uh, doing all the promotional stuff for it about six months, five to six months before it, uh, before Steven actually took over. They knew it was going to be Steven. At that point, it, uh, you know, the show hadn't started airing. This was back in, when would that have been? 2015, I guess? I think, yeah, so starting season nine. Start season nine. Uh, well, we were supposed to start it uh, at the beginning of September, but right too late. So, we're about to start season nine. Almost almost 10 years I've been doing the show. That's cool, man. That means I have. 
I have heard your voice a trillion times because I watch that show, and um, I don't. <laughs> I didn't I'm, know not, you. I'm not in the show. I'm not. I'm not in the actual show. That's the the female. The, the voice in the actual show is uh, is a female. Uh, I don't know her name, but who does the you know does the intro? And all. I do all the promos for it. I do all the promotional stuff that happens during CBS, like during the show. You'll often hear you'll, when they go to commercial, you'll hear, you'll hear advertising like coming up next on James Court or tomorrow night on Steve Bear, like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I've still I've I've heard all that stuff. I've I've seen yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah, I've been doing that for uh, almost ten years. It's nice to have steady work, dude. It is. It is. It's it's, an, it's, it's a weird thing because when I got the gig, I loved it, and I'm a huge fan of. I've always I've been a fan of Steve for years before he even took over the Late Show. Um, but the only thing that's tricky about it is uh, when, it, when it goes live, I, I have to be available at nighttime to record the promo because they write the, the script based on what happens during the afternoon, which takes place around four or five o'clock in the afternoon. And yeah, so, they update it constantly. Yeah, yeah. Well, the actual the show tapes every day. You know, it's a new show. It, you know, it's not pre-recorded like you know weeks in advance. Right. And so if something cool in here cool happens during the show, they might want to promo it. Well, I have to be available immediately before once the show is finished taping, which makes it really difficult for me to do other things other than voiceover. I can do voiceover work, but sure. you know, but you gotta be time. you gotta be home and available. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, you know, every, every day that it's any day that we're there. Um, so it makes me hard, you know, I haven't done any on camera acting or any theater work. Uh, the TV in the year. I was going to ask you, like, do you even audition for on camera anymore? Nah, well, the first year wow. and a half, my agent sent me stuff, and then, you know, I just could never do it. So we just went, all right, let's just pause everything. I know it's a weird, it's a very odd thing that, you know, not, I mean, that, that, that's just the way it always was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this encounter with Carlos and Nemesis are cool. Yeah. The <laughs> and I run away because I'm speed running. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Now you see Nemesis is true form. Yeah, and this yeah. is where Carlos is going to give, where she's going to vaccinate Joe. just doesn't give up what I thought we killed that thing no it's been waiting for you now he's playing with us Carlos do you think that it's unstoppable no I don't think so I'm sorry Jill but I've got to go take care of a few things oh and bad news Nikolai is still alive Nikolai are you sure yes I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. <laughs> how are you liking your performances, Vince? It's impressive. I'm like, a, I'm a big you know, like Evan said, we were recording. You never really knew exactly what you were doing. I mean, you know, you, you, you can infer from the script what's going on, but you don't know how it's going to end up looking and, and, and put all together. And this and this was, you know, a game like this never existed. So there was no frame of reference to go, oh, okay, that's what it's going to look like eventually. And We love it. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 and I, I can see the first time watching it, I go, I can see why people are huge fans, why, why it was a, a beloved game. It really is. It moves, Tim. <laughs> like, you know, when you watch movies, or when you watch it, when you, when you watch a TV show, you're not in control, right? You're just, you're experiencing whatever it is, the producer, the director. But this, you're actually kind of, you're in film you know you're part of the whole thing wow really i think that's also 
I think that's also what that was part of the choice for them back in the day when they when they had um, fixed camera angles. I don't know if you noticed, Vince, like every frame that you're running through here is a, it is a predetermined camera angle from a from a camera position somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And and that and that's all just sort of like to add to the atmosphere of not knowing what's around the corner. Mm -hmm. um, all kinds of like environmental puzzle situations. We have to yeah. use your actual eyes for observation and really kind of piece things through, you know. So it was a it was a it was a definite interesting change, and plus yeah. the dialogue was a big thing too. Like uh, like in games in general, they weren't really around much. So it was like it was a very much a big experience for gaming. Yeah, to have a very filmic scene like that, like the last mm. cutscene played, you know. It's, I mean, it's hilarious, right? Because of the, the, the way it rolls out, it's like the pauses in between them talking and making the But it's still incredibly filmic. It's incredibly like. Well, look, even the new modern games are incredibly cinematic as well. So they've really worked on, on doing that. If you haven't had a chance to, to take a look at some of the modern games, you well, should. Did, you should take a look. I did the Assassin's Creed and, and uh, you know, so stuff like that with the motion capture. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah, that's like that stuff is is wild. I mean, it just it seems so realistic. I mean, the thing about Assassin's Creed that always blows me away is my character actually looks like me. You know, because they, it's my nose, it's my mouth, it's my eyes. But then wow. you know, I'm, yeah, so that's wild. And then you see, you hear yourself talking as the character, and you're like, so realistic. Which, which one? Any, which Assassin's Creed. Creed was that? I never tried any. I should. Um, I, I think it's Assassin's Creed 3. I, I can't remember. Three? On the Marquis de Lafayette. The, oh, okay. Never get Lafayette? That's that's easy to learn, to figure out. Yeah. Kemi, you've never played Assassin's Creed? No. I've never tried oh, man. Oh, man. So yeah, much fun. serious. I have to. Yeah. Return immediately. Over. I called for Nikolai. There. The providers return to the HQ. And here's another Nikolai cutscene. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you were you in the game? Doing a pretty good Vince? job of looking out for yourself. I was the Marquis de Lafayette. Marquis. <laughs> I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this. Yes, the front. Marquis, no less. You are. Yes, the Marquis Our employers de Lafayette. wanted the detailed analysis of the zombie I mean, beings, which were created through infection. Oh, he's based on historical. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. saying yeah. that yeah. they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered? I was just laughing because that's what you got cast as. Not some like exactly. Although the conditions some, uh, on this there. operation were extreme, <laughs> it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be. Yeah, I mean, wiped if you ever out. see the musical Hamilton, we were only required to collect live data from the subject, which I haven't. No. He's, uh, I mean, listen, America, Another America wouldn't necessarily exist the way it is today if it wasn't for the Marquis de Lafayette. He, uh, he advised George Washington. He, you know, he had, had experience in war in Europe. Really? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a fascinating piece of history. Like a, fr like a Frenchman, right? Yeah, he was came over from France yeah, and, uh, and just... Uh, he became, he became sort of Washington, George Washington's right hand man in terms of advising him because he had had he had had uh, um, he had had experience in in war and stuff, so he knew ah! what sort of things to do and you know which helped him which helped him win the war. Because I'm, I'm now I'm gonna have to like want to like hunt down that game so we can stream it so we can watch performance. It looks like you, man. I want to put you on screen. <laughs> Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I have a lot. I have a big like right here, back. That's the thing. Look at it. It's not. Then my eyes, my nose, my mouth, stuff like that. That is. Hmm. Are the new uh, are the new Resident Evils like that, Nick? Or is Nick gone? Did he take? Uh, I'm still here. I'm I'm just listening to you guys. Um, oh. what what was the um you said? What the was the actual Resident question? Evil, is the new Resident Evil stuff? Do they do motion cast for that? Is it mocap? Oh yeah, yeah. They do. Yeah. They do all the, the the full performance capture with the face, the voice, the everything. That's what I figured. So that you know, so that when it, you know any close ups. 
you know, the mouth exactly matches us speaking, you know, the actor. Yeah. They, yeah. they try to get they try to get it all in one take um, if, yeah. if they can it, it depends on um, the scenario but yeah you know how it is like technology has changed quite a bit in yeah, the past yeah, yeah. Even, even just like I'd say like 10 years it's changed a lot oh yeah yeah, yeah. I mean I did yeah I can't remember exactly when I did the test because I've been in New York now I, I did a test retreat just before we moved to New York so it would have been about uh, 10 years ago 11 years ago that game. That was the first. That was my first introduction to mocap. Fun. Yeah. First time. I did it on a couple other. Um, I'm I'm too old to do mocap. No. Uh, my agent keeps telling me that I have to take certain courses before they'll even see me. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> that's, that's not true. No. no, but I mean, I'm pretty serious. My my agent needs to have a talking to me. Like that. Yeah. No, man. Not at all. That's no, no, no. True, I know that. Oh. But at least, at least not in my experience. I, I am not getting Carlos. Not getting any Jim, auditions. Listen Carlos. very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. So, Cam, I am going to have to run. Is it going to screw up your time? No, um, no, I don't think so because you're not on camera, so it's okay. Don't worry. You, you, are you able to pause or anything? Uh, yeah. I mean, I am, um, yeah. So if, if you're leaving, um, well, thank you for joining, Nick. Um, yeah. you guys yeah. give Nick a follow. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it was, uh, it was really nice to meet you both. I mean, like, Evan, I know that we have, uh, We've chatted a few times online, but I never got to actually talk with you. So pleasure to finally meet you and, and Vince. Yeah, man. Um, thanks for coming and, and hanging out with us. It's really yeah. cool to just hear some of your experiences back then. And it's so yeah. cool to learn that you guys have been friends forever. That's so awesome. Yeah, we've known, Oh, yeah. We're old Toronto boys, man. Known each other for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Before we That's before cool. we did this game, we knew each other in, in the biz. Yeah. Yeah. I know. That's yeah, so thanks, cool Nick. that you got to work on it together. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Nick. It was, it was fun, man. It's been a blast. Thank you for joining us, Nick. Yeah, thank you. And, and Cam, take care. We'll be in touch. And good luck, man. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. We can do some more some soon, Nick, if you, if you want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, take care, everybody. Okay. See you, Nick. Have a good thank care. You. Hey, Cam, you know, how, how, yeah. how, how close are you to beating the game to almost being finished? I would say I am about 20, 25 minutes about to finishing it. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stick around. But okay, yeah. okay, that's fine. I'll try to to go as fast as I can, but it's okay. At least you've seen most of it. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, it's. I mean, listen, I, I I'm sad that I can't stick around, but I do have to get going because I got some stuff I have to record. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. Whatever, yeah. Um, Eighty percent done. I would say. I gotta go streaming. Okay. <laughs> but I won't start on your heels right away, Kim. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna uh, take a second. I'm gonna. Is this is it all right if you want to wait two minutes or is, is there another good place we can to wait pause? yeah we can wait uh, yeah all right then I, i'm gonna sign off too man i, I just because i do have to get some stuff done and i apologize man I, I okay no it's it. okay well thank you so much for stopping by uh vince yeah, everybody man. give vince a follow uh, it was a pleasure i hope to have you over again sometime yeah. smart. um it was really fun and yeah I'm glad that I, I, I'm honored that I'm the one who showed you most of the game. So, oh yeah. yeah, this 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 was wild. This was this was awesome, man. It's always great to catch up with Evan, and uh, it was great to meet Nick and Evie. Thanks so much for, for putting this together. Let's do it again. Yeah, it's a blast. It's wild. I mean, we're gonna have to do it again because now I need to know what happens. I gotta Absolutely. know how it ends. Yes, what happens to yes. Yes. Carlos? Yeah, <laughs> he's going to save Jill. I can tell you that much. <laughs> so, yeah. You wrote oh, what? How, how, yeah. <laughs> Me, um, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, all right. I actually recorded those scenes, so I know how it ends. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Vince. I really appreciate oh, it. Yeah, man. Thank you, buddy. Um, thanks, thanks, guys. It was, Evan, it was great. Be well. Take hey, care, Evan, brother. We got to hook up that helicopter ride, man. I, yeah. <laughs> I got to get another helicopter ride for sure. Yeah. We'll have to, yeah, we'll have to see if anybody wants to uh, splurge and send us on a ride together. Oh, man. Awesome. <laughs> we'll see. It was All it was right. a blessing as it was, but uh, yeah. Next time, and anyway, when you do come up to Toronto, even if it's not a helicopter ride, we you know we can just uh, we can just like rent a limo and go around and pretend we're like, you know, like rock stars. 
How about that? That'd be, that'd be fun too, man. That'd be fun. Just go and um, cosplay and just get out places and just like talk to people. Totally. totally. <laughs> All right, listen, guys. I, I'm gonna roll. Thank you. Thanks to the fans. Thanks for everybody that that that, that joined us today. It was awesome. Um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter. You know. Yeah. Uh, go to yeah. Mark Vince and Chad, and you have access to. All of his social so yeah please give him a follow yeah, yeah thank you so much again awesome kemi right on man this was this was really cool thanks so much it was an awesome experience thank you, you guys. thank you Vince. all right knock him dead go kill him go get go get uh, nemesis man i will kill him. i will on behalf of you i will yeah all right signing all right. off all take right. care yeah bye see you okay well i feel like i should finish it right I am this close. Can you, can you hold it up until I finish, uh, Ivan? Have you got to go? Um, well, I mean, I, I should probably eventually go because I got to cook myself something to eat before I start streaming tonight. Okay, well, um, that's fine. So I am about 15 minutes about away of finishing it, so yeah. Yeah, okay. I got to finish Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so... I yeah, well, I, I will <laughs> give you a rate when, I, when I'm done. So I, I'm actually going to finish this because Thursday is not a streaming day for me. I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but... Mm -hmm. um you know i'm gonna wrap this up and i'll give you a rate so we can go hang out with you well i might like i said i might not be starting by the time you get off but we'll we'll see okay well anyways thank you for joining us it was fun of it course cool thank you a lot no problem buddy okay. goodbye well, everybody have a good Zaba, day you guys i'm gonna go make something to eat <laughs> yeah. oh, take care everybody I'll, I'll see you soon well deserved okay well you guys I'm gonna finish this because I am as I said about 15 minutes away or so so I'm gonna try to finish it I would have loved showing Vince the whole thing though if, if he had to go you know I wanted to show him the, the whole helicopter scene I had a um, had a video ready and I, I was gonna show him the, the helicopter right? That's cool. But how cool was that, you guys? It was my the first time that Vincent saw Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And although the, the run was kinda meh, we I showed him most of it. So but it's a good thing he didn't see this. But this is bad RNG. But you know what? I'm not go going for a PD, so I'm gonna kill them. Yeah, fuck you. We speedrunners know the satisfaction behind this, so... You know. I'm not going for a PD, so fuck him. But we'll finish it, we'll finish it and... The whole... VOD is going to be up on YouTube if you want to watch it, rewatch it some other time. I know I will. We had the Foxy Ladies line. That was amazing. Sorry, I know. Sorry, Chad. I know. I, I've seen all of you. I was in Zorito, Zoe, Mutant, Chrony Diggity, Liz, uh, Chris. Uh, I, I was seeing all of you. I just didn't want you to interrupt while they were chatting. But I, I've seen all of you, so that means a lot. Thank you for, for stopping by. I know I, I, I've spoken with some of you and I was like, you know, it would mean the, it would mean the world to me if you could make it. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Who lost the follows too? I couldn't really... Pay close attention to those, I really appreciate it. I know some of you came after Nick's shout out on Twitter, so thank you so much. And I'm sure I'll have Nick over again because uh, I don't know when, but I'll be playing Resident Evil 4 Remake again. I'm, I'm thinking of doing a challenge that is going to be knife only, professional mode knife only. And I would like to have Nick over when that happens, so I'll definitely have Nick over again, so. A 
thank you all. I did get bad RNG constantly. So if, if you happen to be speedrunner of this title, it had terrible RNG. And it's a good thing I saved the clock tower enemy because it killed me. <laughs> so you know what I mean? I was like, oh no way. Okay. Good thing I saved. And I did all right with the grave digger. Just yeah. okay. It was an okay run. Yeah, and I finally ran. That, that's my, my next challenge. Because I've already finished the title. The pissed around me, and I want to do an iPhone next. If Evan goes live by the time I'm done, I'm gonna rate him. If not, we'll see. I think Nicole was streaming at the same time I was, so I I may rate Nicole Tompkins. You're almost done with this. Again, this is um I don't stream on Thursdays. I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but today was September 28th and I wanted to celebrate with the community and well, that's why we're here. <laughs> so Just call us again. I, I'm, I'm sad I could, Jill, I could you? show this. If you can hear this transmission, respond immediately. Events. I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up. And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Don't give up. I'll, I'll oh, finish the run, Zoe, and Just then I'll raid uh, Evan if he goes live or Nicole Tompkins. Nicole Tompkins is Jill Valentine on RE3 Remake. And I think she was live. I'm not sure if she's still live, but if she is live, I'm gonna raid her. She played Jill Valentine on RE3 Remake. But not Evan, I'll raid Nicole. She's still alive? Okay, so uh, alive. <laughs> She's still alive and alive. Good. Oh, yeah, we'll rain the goal. Check in. System. She'll be there for a while? Okay. Well, we'll rain the goal. We'll rain the goal. Check in. Data. She was uh, live signing with the grabs, so. There is not enough power to kind of cool. activate the system. I'm so, you guys, I am so happy. I was able to, uh, you know, I had three legends in the same call. I had Vince Carazza, Evan Sava, and Nick. Nick about to lead this. How, how cool was that? I was, I was low key nervous, not gonna lie. But, you know, I managed. <laughs> I managed. It was, it was so much talent to get in the same call, you know? And I was speedrunning vets. I was, you know, double focused. Some technical issues too, but you know, I fixed it at the very end. Yeah, and I appreciate everybody that made it to the stream. You guys are great. Thank you for asking, for thinking of cool questions to ask uh, Vince about his career and everything.
This is a terrible run, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Can I give him stars? Can I speak now? Were you... <laughs> Were you saving up all of your questions? I appreciate that. It was a shit run, I know. You raided him the other day, he was playing not- Yeah, he's been playing Buffy. Yeah. Alright, we'll give him any stars here. It was so fun to have these legends over on a September 28th. Whoops! Okay, it's the, the speedrun tradition. Well, I didn't give him stars, I'm sorry. Sorry. I didn't give him stars. Yeah, Vincent's gone, so it's Nick and Evan. Jill! Over here! It's a tradition, dude! When, when it comes to speedrunning, you always choose a second option there. I'm sorry. Now we have a rather unfortunate it was so nice. So, um, for all of the new fellows, I'm gonna read them right now. Actually, I have some time. I have a few minutes here, so let me let me read off your follows. Just now, I can focus on chat. I really appreciate everything you've done. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. See here. See who followed. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians. So Andrew, Luca, Renee, uh, Fair, Fairy Bunny, Scott, Ray1212, Monica, Monica, um, Arsalan, Kenji, Saf26, Snowy, and Vincent. He created, he created an account just to be here. If you. We don't know if Vince is ever going to join, to, to follow, sorry, to, to stream or not, you heard them. But he did create an account, which is Vincent Corazza, the actor. So you go give him a follow. What do you know? Imagine he starts streaming. He will, he'll have some followers already. So this is Vincent's channel. Vincent Corazza, the actor. Um. Yeah. And it was so amazing to hang out with these legends, to chat, to show him Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for the first time. It was amazing. I do have... Well, you heard him. He said he's not much of a gamer. And this isn't the first time I've spoken with him. And he says that, so I'm not sure. Well, maybe if he happens to... I'm not sure if he draws art or something, but yeah, we could probably talk him into doing something. We'll see. Um, uh, probably some other time I'll, I could ask him to, to join me again so I can show him the, the ending of the game. <laughs> That'd be cool. Well, it was nice. We, we had them over for a, an hour and 20 minutes. So it was, it was amazing. I had a great time. And I hope you guys did as well. Again, we had some technical difficulties because it, it is a rule. When it comes to big events or things of the sort, there has to be technical difficulties. If not, it's not an actual stream. This run took me an hour and 19 minutes. <laughs> it was terrible. My PB on the speedrunning note, my PB, my personal best, it's 45 minutes and uh, 45 minutes and five seconds. I forgot. Anyways, it's a, a lot cooler than this. This is this took me an hour and 20. So you know what I mean. And I had I had on Spotify the Resident Evil 3 playlist, and I'm not sure if you could hear it because you know we were chatting. But I had this playing in the background. This is the Carlos uh, theme, when you meet Carlos. I was an hour and two minutes, actually. Okay. It was cooler than expected. Um, yeah. 
Anyways, so thank you for following. I do stream on a daily basis, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So if you follow on socials and all of it, we'll, you'll see what I do. I'm a speedrunner. I'm a casual streamer as well. I enjoy both speedrunning and casual playthroughs. I am currently going through Bioshock. So I'll come back to it on Monday. Oh, today's Thursday. So tomorrow, I'll go live tomorrow and I'll play more Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. But I'll be actually speedrunning it like with the whole layout and focusing on in the speedrun. Um, and then Monday, I'll come back to the Bioshock. But yeah, it was amazing. So, Nicole is still live. So we are going to give Nicole Tompkins a follow. Please... I was going to say, we're going to give him a uh, rate and do follow her. <laughs> that was, that came out wrong. Um, let's rate Nicole Tompkins. She plays Jill Valentine on Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, as well as other characters. Uh, am I, is this the right spelling? Yes. Um, and she played one of the... Um, um, what you call it in Resident Evil Village, the uh, Dimitrescu daughter. She played Bella, I think. So you have Cassandra, Bella, and another one, and she played Bella, I think. Anyways. Thank you for hanging. Thank you for lurking, chatting, questions, and all of that. We'll see you again tomorrow with more Rare Three Nemesis. I really appreciate it. So take care.